Hi there, my name is Desmond. I'm looking professional, isn't it? Yes, I'll be talking about what I'm wearing, what it indicates in subsequent videos, so that you'll be able to understand that these things that we put on are not for purposes of fashion, but they have roles that they play. In my last episode, I spoke about the A to Z of building your home. And I got to the aspect where I was talking about the quantities of air. I've had few people reaching out to me and telling me that they are getting confused because what they are thinking about is they are trying to build their three bedroom to their five bedroom. Why do they need to have so many people so they have to pay so many people at the same time? Yes, I understand. Everybody who has the mandate or who wants to build a home would want to be able to cut costs to the barest minimum. That is why I'm here, to be able to walk you through so you don't spend money unnecessarily. What do you need? Once you are able to get your draftsman to put together your drawings for you, what you do first is to send your drawings together with your land documentation to the municipal assembly. Once it gets there, what you want them to do is for them to be able to give you a permit. Yes, it takes some time. You, there are other processes that you need to be able to do, few things you need to be able to acquire so that you're able to get your building permit. But I'll go into all the details in subsequent videos. So I'll just be running you through the processes, what you need to do. And once you're able to get those ones, we are good to go. So do I need a quantity surveyor? It's two ways. It's both yes and no. You can be able to get a qualified uh, artisan who will be able to produce an estimate for you. Now, somebody might want to know, after seeing my 3D animated drawings and seeing my drawings and how beautiful they look like, I want to know how much it will cost to finish. Costing even comes with duration, like I explained the last time. And maybe I do not have that amount of money to be able to pay a quantity surveyor for him to be able to produce the whole bill for me. So, the next question. Do I need the services of an engineer? Or a qualified mason, like we all know it, having worked for 25 years or 30 years with all the experience he has garnered? Can I use either of them? Let me explain this. In life, every choice you make will either have an effect or be productive for you. Yes, an engineer can build your home for you. A mason can equally build your home for you. But the two are not the same. So you always have to be able to choose very well. What are you seeking to do? What would you want to have? That is a determining factor. I'm an engineer. Obviously, I will speak for engineers. However, what I know is that there are things, the modernity when it comes to construction, as of the 21st century, you would need an engineer to be able to interpret to you some of the processes, some of the changes that we are having to see today in our building industry. Those things, your mason will tell you, they are either a waste of money, they are not important because they may not have the technical know-how for you to be able to get those results. So what I will tell you is getting an engineer is the ideal thing to do. I'll come back and explain the various processes for you. Thank you.